Hello my crafty friends and welcome to another video. This is going to be a flip through of a um, so-called No Reason Journal. Well, the idea behind the No Reason Journal, as you might already know, is to use up things that you hoard and collected, sometimes even over years, and you were somehow have back then an idea or inspiration what to do with them and somehow you never got to use them. You still think they're pretty, you still want to look at them, but you have no certain layout or project that you can use them for. So um, somebody came up with the idea of just gluing them down in a journal to have them near you and be able to look at them whenever you like. And I have plenty of those things. Since I started as a smash booker, I collected and hoarded a lot of things. I also emptied from time to time, but still I have a box full of little and bigger things. So I tried my best and be wild. So let's start the flip through. I also made this journal by myself and it was not one of them that I was really proud of. I was proud of that I used like a transparency paper and I tea dyed and I was back then proud of how I made it but it never got used and it was because of the not so, let me say, professional way I did it. For this project I went through my stash and was searching for the perfect journal and this came to my hand and I knew okay you're gonna have your purpose because I made you there is my energy in here and um, I don't want you to be born without a reason so let's start celebrate the little things is perfect describing what's in here I have just these little cards because I found them funny and this one in particular because if you take it out oh there's a mermaid and you won't see it at first so I found that funny that it kind of ends in an unexpected way and this little quote when you love what you have you have everything you need so this is also for stuff you love you hoarded them you collected them you have a certain relationship to them you choose them there was something that pleased your eye so i really tried my best to be very spontaneous to just grab things out of the box or actually several boxes i had collected um, but at the end I was a bit unsure if I really mastered the mission because it now still kind of looks neat and not like really thrown together and even the pages did become a meaning after the process. I don't know if I'm fascinated about it because that's like uh, the process that lead to a real result <laughs> or if it's my brain that works so conceptual that I cannot go wild really. But what I observed was when I was unsure about placement or on which corner, which color. I was going with the opposite of what my brain told me. I was trying to be naughty, so to say, and to add things where I wouldn't add it normally when working on a layout. And again, as in my previous video of the green tea dye journal, I love the sound it makes when you flip the pages. So 
So actually it's really random stuff. But as I put them down, it started to create a story and I, I couldn't help it. And um, I let it be this way. And I hope in another journal, maybe if there will be another one, and I assume there will be another one, um, that I can go even more crazy. But on the other hand, I really like the process because just picking things out was something new. Normally you pick things out because you choose color combos or you have a certain layout already in mind or a subject and um, then you of course start to assemble th the things you need to accomplish and here it was like just bits and pieces along the way and what I have to admit too it was one way very relaxing and very addicting I couldn't almost stop making the pages and I only had one weekend to do so. I mean, even not the whole weekend, only a few hours. And I really got through, as you can see. But it was, in the way of relaxation, also kind of uh, exhausting, which was good. I know this feeling from tidying up, that if you can throw away things, it is a very uplifting feeling. But it also makes you very tired because you throw away a lot of emotions connected to the objects and memories. And that's a very challenging process with your soul, I would say. And I part of that felt also during this journal. But I'm very happy about it. I like to flip through. It's fun and it's colorful and it's still somewhat neat. So that was it. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.